What's up guys? So I wanted to make a quick video on the um, five easiest way to soften your beard. Um, I know a lot of people who first grow out their beards think they're going to just naturally be softer, but there's actually some steps you can take to make them softer because if you just let it grow haywire, uh, it's going to be kind of uh, the same feeling as that uh, sponge you use to get tough grease off of pans. So uh, the first thing you want to do uh, to soften your beard is to soften the interior of your beard. Um, it's easy to soften the exterior, but the easiest way to soften the interior of your beard is through song or music. So I wrote this little piece for my beard, and maybe you can write a song for yours. And mine goes like this, and it's not that long. I got some beard oil and a comb in my pocket. Once I started taking care of my beard, I couldn't stop it. Okay, now all jokes aside, there are like four other ways that you can uh, soften your beard. And uh, the first way is to uh, drink plenty of water. Um, and this is easily, as easy as just grabbing a bottle of water. Um, water, it starts like every system in your body, it, it um, fuels it or whatever. It's very important to keep hydrated. So I'll try to drink this water in like 11 seconds just to really get my beard hydrated and everything like that. So three, two, go. I feel like that was a little bit longer, but yeah, so definitely stay hydrated would be number one or two if you want to count the song. Um, number two or three, however we're counting this, uh, beard oil. Um, made a video earlier actually where I reviewed this beard oil, but I, uh, in that video I put in the other one. This is the gentleman I'm wearing it now. It's uh, amazing, it smells like mint. Uh, essential oils are very important for your beard, uh, for the uh, skin underneath, as also as the hairs on top. And uh, so yeah, invest in some beard oil. Make sure it's good beard oil with no silicone in it, because silicone will uh, uh, give you like a nice shiny look to your beard, but it's actually terrible for it. Make sure about that. Uh, another way to get vitamins and things to your beard um, are uh, drink white tea. Um, I know you've heard of black teas, and there's also like herbal teas and green teas, but white tea is the one that focuses on hair, skin, and nail health. So make sure you make a nice cup of white tea to drink. This is uh, passion white or white peach tea, white peach passion or something like that. So by drinking uh, some white tea a couple of times a week should help. Um, so make sure you pick up some white tea and start drinking that if you'd like it. Um, another way you can soften your beard is using things like biotin and stuff like that. I don't really use that stuff, um, but on that same uh, level, I guess, taking like a multivitamin, like this one right here, uh, that has a lot of stuff in it for your hair, skin, and nails, uh, or just stuff that you might not get from your regular diet. So drink, taking a multivitamin might also help a little bit. Uh, and last but not least, while we're talking about diets and stuff, is to actually uh, have a good diet filled with fruits and vegetables. Here we have a grapple. Uh, yes, I said that right. It's a uh, apple that tastes like a grape. Really good, really healthy. And very tasty. But guys, all jokes aside about, you know, whatever. Um, your beard's not going to grow really soft and silky unless you just have the genes for it. So taking simple steps really will help with softening your beard, which will help if your significant other doesn't like beards um, or whatever. So try these steps. Listing them without actually giving examples are 
The song is optional, but uh, water, beard oil, and other beard products like that, white tea, and a good diet, fruits and vegetables. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This is my second one I made today, so I'm on a roll for some reason. Um, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.